Bones. Today I'm here to talk about the City of Bones movie. What did you think about it? All that kind of stuff. So let's chat about it. Overall, overall, I like the movie, which honestly surprised me. Now before we get any further than this, I will say this is my opinion and you know, our opinions might change. I'm glad about that because everyone's got a different opinion. So yeah. Yeah, I liked the movie. I didn't hate it. And honestly, I was going into the movie with not high expectations at all. And that is because when I saw the preview, I wasn't like, mm, I was excited, but I wasn't like, I'm 100% sold on it. I wasn't 100% on the cast. I wasn't, I was just very, very iffy going into it. And overall, I came out happy that I saw it and I enjoyed it. Things, I do not want to keep this long by any means because I do not want to dissect it into 50 million pieces because I don't want to do that. I do not want to go to a book movie and dissect the crap out of it. I want to enjoy it for what it is because sometimes with books going into movies you have to view them as two separate things. A lot of times Hollywood gets it wrong. Let's face it. There's going to be things and lots of things are going to get wrong and we just have to get used to it I guess. I will tell you what I enjoyed first. Lily Collins is Clary. I thought she was great. I 100% believed her as Clary. I even liked her movie Clary better than book Clary because book Clary is quite annoying if you don't know that already. I thought her acting was great. I thought it was phenomenal. Um, Jamie Campbell Bauer, I think that's how you say his name, is Jace. I liked him in the end. He was the one I was very skeptic because when I looked at him, I didn't see Jace. I just didn't see him. Overall, I liked him as Jace. I, I still don't see him 100% as Jace, but I liked him as Jace. I believed him to be Jace, so... I, I didn't hate him at all. I thought it was I thought it was pretty good. Isabel, I loved. I have no clue what the actress's name. I thought she was a great Isabel. Just imagine, oh gosh, she was just as I imagined her to be. Only I think I would change a little bit without her in the movie. I would have made her a little bit more like. To me, when I think about it, Isabel, I think of like sassy and like shut up and a little bit more mean. I would have changed that a little bit, but overall, I thought she was great. And the guy that played Simon, no clue his name. <laughs> Sorry, phenomenal. I you know what's I liked movie Simon a lot more than book Simon and it took me a while to like Simon because there was always that love triangle thing but that's why I never liked Simon because I was always like Team Chase but I liked movie Simon I really liked him I thought he was very very attractive too Valentine I did not like him one bit not at all really I just mm, wasn't believable to me and Magnus I'm iffy about Magnus I, I don't know I guess I know Magnus is young in the book, but like, you know, he's really century old, but I've always thought he looked almost to be like, I've always envisioned him to be like a man in his 30s, and I felt like we'd get like a very young guy, but I thought his, I didn't think his acting was great at all, honestly, I did not think his acting was great. <laughs> the casting overall mixed a little bit, overall I enjoyed it more than anything else. Um, the guy that played Alec, I thought he was good too. Um, I, honestly, whenever I see him, I'm gonna think of Sebastian from Gossip Girl, if I'm being 100% honest, but whatever, you know, it's whatever. So let's talk about some of the things that I did not like at all in the movie. We'll make these very, very short. A little more spoiler things, so if you have not seen the movie, I would not recommend watching any further, I will say before we're going to spoilers. Definitely go see this movie if you've read the book. I think it's a fair adaptation, definitely not the worst I've seen by any means, so yeah. Number one thing I did not like about this movie, and it's gonna be so minuscule, so nothing, but I didn't, I hated it, was the scene where Clary and Jace were finally kissing. It was the garden scene. I decided because I knew the time was coming when they had their first kiss, and it was building up to be a good first kiss, and they didn't, and then all of a sudden, like the rain or sprinklers start happening, and then this pop music hits, and I was like, what am I watching? Like the music ruined the whole thing. It was, I felt like it was in a romantic comedy, honestly. I was like, what? No, 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 no. Like, I thought the person who did the score was awful. Like, why did you do that? Like, I didn't think he did a good job with the score at all. I just, ugh. Another thing that bothered me that really wasn't that big of a deal, but was Valentine. Like, I felt like he had this braid thing in his hair. Like, I was like, who is, like, is he Jack Sparrow? Like, what the heck? Like, is he a pirate? Um, I was like, what? I felt like Valentine was like way over the top. Like, ugh. I just thought of Val uh, Valentine as a very, like, he can charm you into anything. He can say certain things that you'll make him believe. But I felt him to be very aggressive. Felt him to be like way over the top in that braid thing. I was like, mm -mm. And like, I really wish we would have explored Hodge more. I really thought we, I, I really would have liked to see Hodge more because I felt like he had a very dominant role in the book. Was it just me? I don't know. Um, but I really would have liked to see him more. Like I said, there wasn't like a lot of things I really did not like, honestly, because I'm trying to go into a mindset now when I 
go see a movie that's made out of a book I love. Check out every like little single thing that has changed from the book. I think you're going to end up not liking it and that almost takes it away. But you know, I didn't really read the book honestly before the movie because I didn't. I wanted to have fresh eyes. I didn't want to go into it with like, they changed everything. Overall, I thought it was a good adaptation. Like I felt like they stuck pretty close to the book. I felt like just some of the things like the score and then some people's acting and some stuff I was just not a huge fan of. Like, and oh, another thing, like that portal thing, like when Jay stuck his hand into the water and then he and or he and then he gave like Clary a bubble then he put his hand and I was like this is so odd and he started stroking her hair I was like like I would not think that was like I wouldn't be like oh this is so sweet I'd be like this is weird man this is weird but overall I did enjoy it I will say that if I can give it a read I'll give it a three out of five if I can give anything I didn't hate it I didn't really exactly 100% love it but I liked it I liked it I really hope they continue on with making the series and they make City of Ashes. I'm not too sure because honestly, it's not doing so great at the box office right now, but fingers crossed and I hope that it'll do another one. But you know, like I said, when it comes to book to movie adaptations, you just have to be kind of open because Lord knows we have a ton coming up like Divergent, Fault in Our Stars, Maze Runner, Vampire Academy. So many that they're changing from books to movies, which I'm excited about, but then I'm like, I don't want them to be bad because it'll ruin my love for the book almost and I just don't like that and I'm nervous like Divergent I really hope you're good I need you to be good anyway that's what I thought about City of Bones movie what did you guys think about it let me know let's talk about it all that kind of stuff I will see you guys next time bye Long ago, years before I can remember